discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked and I'm continuing my Bloodborne series. We are now in a entirely new chapter which because I'm doing this basically uh, and recording this once a week, I am able to actually read some comments before I go ahead and jump into a new game. And thank God I did that because uh, someone did mention that each chapter is basically a standalone thing. Not each chapter, each uh, campaign is its own kind of standalone thing. So like the growing badness is separate from the fall of old Yarnum and all that. So uh, basically you don't carry anything over, uh, which is great. So now... They give me an opportunity to decide that I'm going to be doing uh, different weapons each each uh, chapter. So not as fluid as I would have liked. Like like you you still can go through the whole Bloodborne uh, story like you can in the video game, but you're not going to be progressing like you like you would as in the video game, which is fine. So this time around, uh, for the Growing Madness, I have done the Hunter Axe. And initially I was going to do the Kirkhammer, but I think I want to highlight for the first four, the four weapons that come in the base game. And then I'll start mixing and matching a little bit more. So, this one is not as fast, or doesn't have a fast option. So it has two slashes and a rally strike. After attacking with rally strike, heal one for each damage you dealt. So that's pretty good. I can try and go for uh, like a fast, like a buffing up speed and then dealing more damage. And then... For the two-handed weapon, the trick, uh, the other side is on kill, deal two damage to one enemy within one space, and then you have an arc swing, and then you have two slow attacks, have uh, two heavy, heavy cleaves. So, and then I have my hunter pistol, does the exact same thing as the actual. Uh, what did I have uh, the last time? It was the Evelyn. That's it. And I think that's. It. I think that's the only thing that's really different. So, let's go ahead and jump into Growing Madness. <laughs> this night, a grand hunt has been called. Hunter and townsfolk alike have taken to the streets to join in the great purging. Among them, the renowned hunter, Father Gascoigne, has joined you in your task. Yet something about this hunt feels different. The scent of blood is heavy in the air. From above, the rays of the blood moon bathe the streets in a crimson red. All the while, an unnerving feeling lies just below the surface, as if something terrible is waiting to be unleashed. Who knows what it's gonna be? Hopefully it's not Father Gascoigne. So, chapter one, at the start of the hunt, we reveal card one, and then uh, uh, whenever the hunt uh, marker reaches the first, the first red space, uh, we reveal card six. If we end to move on the occupied house tile, reveal card 11. And if we end to move on the Odin Chapel, we reveal card 14. So let's go ahead and see what our, our Martian is. Gascoigne step, Gascoin steps forward, taking the lead. He lifts his head. <sighs> Tonight, there is something different in the air. Let there be no doubt. If it moves, you can be sure it's a beast. And even if it doesn't, well, don't take any chances. Now we hunt. Place two insight tokens on this card. Place Father Gascoigne's miniature on the center. Ooh, I didn't even think we were going to get to have him. So neat. So let me just grab him. And he's right here. Uh, place Father Gascoigne's miniature on the central lamp space. When a hunter moves out of this lamp, out of his space, Gascoigne may be moved with them. After a hunter in his space attacks, deal that enemy one additional damage. No one gains a blood echo if this slays the enemy. Each time an enemy is slain in his space, remove one token. When this card has no remaining tokens, reveal card two. Oh, badass! So I get Father Gascoigne. Yeah, look at that sexy. Oh, he's falling. Look at that sexy motherfucker. Uh, fun fact, like I tried uh, role-playing like in, in a D&D &D campaign. I tried making Father Gascoigne and uh, you know what doesn't work? Role-playing is Father Gascoigne because he has like no, no personality to him at all. Alright, yeah, so when a hunter moves out, you can take him with you. After a hunter in his space attacks... Uh, deal the enemy one additional damage. All right. All right, that's pretty good. Hmm. Ah, okay. 
So, let's see. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I think I will just be sticking with him this whole time. So let's go ahead and we will go ahead and move. I don't know why I put that there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move. Come on, Father Gascoigne, let's go this way. So that's going to be one, two in here. And ooh, hell yeah, Occupied House. That's what I wanted. And it's end a move on the Occupied House tile. Okay, so boom. And what do we have? Ooh, Hunter's Mob. Beast! Yeah. Yeah. And then he's gonna kill him. Oh, and by the way, here's my little, my little sexy mini, the two-handed, two-handed uh, hunter's axe, which was actually the very first weapon I started with. And then I was like, oh, Ludwig's holy blade is uh, just twenty times better. All right. So let's see if I. All right, so I, end, I ended the move there, so now we will reveal card 11. Yeah, the occupied house. All right, card 11. I don't know if it show if I if I showed the last the last one, but here's the here's some of the art on the back of the of the chapter. So, that's pretty cool that that exists. And then uh, for the long hunt, just going to go back a little bit. There's the art for the long hunt. So, very ominous, absolutely love it. And yeah, so let's reveal card 11. Boop. Insight mission, supplies for the night. Oh, you must be a hunter. Must have had a fine time of it. Was out on the hunt myself, but now I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. Say, you wouldn't be willing to help a fellow Yarnamite out, would you? I can even make it worth your while. Just need some supplies to last me through the night, that's all. And a, maybe a big, heaping hunter dick. But please, the supplies first. Alright. So, place an insight uh, token on the back of this card. Hunters ending a move on the occupied may discard any number of their held consumables. For each one discarded, remove one token from this. And then when there's no tokens left. Alright. That's, that's, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. I think I could do that. But I think we got some. I think we got some hunters to kill. So I think. Uh, okay, and it says you may deal that in, after hunter and the space attacks deal that. Oh no! You nope. Never mind. Uh, so, well, I could. No one if uh, deal. No one gains a blood echo if this slays the enemy. All right. So that's gonna be interesting. But I think fine, fine. You know what, Gascoigne? You take this guy, and I'll take the other two. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack with a slash. Just a basic slash. Just bringing my axe down on these people who are probably regular humans. Um, and then they are going to do their special, which is rifle shot. Ooh, thank God. Okay, <laughs> that's very slow. So I'm still faster. I have to get used to not having any fast attacks. Do I have any? Uh, my tactical, there's a tactical in here that uh, deals attack or dodge at plus one speed. That might be pretty neat. Um, so I'm actually not going to dodge because I will kill them first. So I'm going to deal three damage because my basic strength gives a plus one. So three damage and then Gascoigne deals an additional one, taking it out. And that one is now dead. All right. So I think... I'm actually going to end there because I would like to keep the card in my hand. So let's go ahead and move that. Draw two. There we go. That's not horrible. So let's continue look looking and maybe find cons find some consumables. I think I'm just going to go down. That makes it a little bit easier on me. Alright, so it discarded that so I can move, so let's go ahead, ooh, the graveyard, perfect, right outside, so yeah, we're going to go one, two, and there is a, oh, <laughs> oh man, the, uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing, church giant, boom, oh my god, <laughs> um, that's gross, uh, I, I, uh, he's so slow, but he does so much damage, and then there's a little consumable there. So, let's see. Can I kill him? Yes, potentially. I'm going to have to get rid of both of my cards to do it. Um, so, let's see. Uh, Church Giant. Uh, okay, Basic Reckless Swing. I haven't seen these guys. They have six health, so that sucks. And if dodged, Hunter's Attack deals plus one damage. Oh! 
Oh, interesting. Okay. And then special mighty swing cannot be staggered. Triggers all hunters in this target. Tar targets. Uh, hunters uh, hit or move two spaces away. And then lumbering. Church nine makes no attack. Oh. I like that. If it's an ability, he does nothing. I enjoy that quite a bit. Maybe I'll get lucky. Alright, so yeah. Let's go ahead and attack him. I'm going to play my... Mm, mm, okay. So I'm going to do my basic, which will draw one. Alright, that's pretty neat. So I'm going to deal two damage. And then it's a special, which is Mighty Swing. Cannot be staggered. Targets all hunters in the space. Hunters hit are moved two spaces away. <sighs> okay, but I can dodge it. I can dodge it, but then I will have nothing to do. All right, that sucks. Okay, because that's a special, and then he's so it's not a basic attack. Well, I will be dealing three damage to him because Gascoigne shoots him, and then I think yeah, his attack. Well, sorry, I can dodge it because that's gonna still gonna be four damage. Okay, yep. Let's go ahead and dodge. Uh, so, oh, but then I clear the slot, so that's, that's actually pretty good. So I will dodge, dodge that attack. Now, it is my turn again. So I'm going to do another basic attack, which lets me draw, and, alright, so a card draw might be pretty good with, with this one. Card draw would be good with anything. Uh, and then it's going to be a basic attack, which is the reckless swing, and since I'm dealing, uh, it's slow, uh, all of his attacks are slow. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not the one with the ball and chain. So I think I'm not going to dodge it, so therefore I'm dealing three damage to him again, which does kill him, but I'm still not getting any blood echoes because of this guy, because of Gascoigne. He's like, he's the one that's taking like the final pock shot from a distance, like I'm up, he's like back here, like behind the chest, like cowering, shoots above him, happens to kill it, and he's like, oh, yep, <clears throat> that was me, that was me, and since I'm a father, that was uh, Lord and Savior uh, Cthulhu, and that's like, wait, what was that? Oh, I'm in Jesus Christ. All right, so I'm going to spend this card to interact, and what's the consumable? Uh, lead elixir on attack block one. Okay, not bad, uh, not great either. So I think that'll be a perfect to go back uh, to give to her. So yeah, and ending move on the occupied house. All right, so that's the end of my turn. So let's do that and let's go one, two, three. Draw cards back, and I have to spend all of these. Well, okay, so I'm gonna do a, gonna do a weapon transition, so I can clear this. And so now I have, I always thought that was cool, the fact that it just extends the handle from uh, from it. I've never seen that before. Trick weapons are, I mean, weapons in, in Bloodborne are easily the best uh, in any Souls game. Secure doesn't really count because it's just the one weapon. Okay. So now I'm going to move. Uh, should I just should I start killing people on my own like leave him here so I can actually get some shit done? Oh yeah, uh, each time an enemy is slain in his space, remove one token. Oh, that actually happened twice already. So cool, uh, just right now. Uh, so we we reveal card two on the hunt. Gascoigne's blows strike down his latest foe, but he does not stop. He rears back, bringing his mighty axe down again and again, blood splattering as he chops away. Suddenly, the bells of the Grand Cathedral, far across the Great Bridge, begin to chime. Gascoigne stops, drawn by their sound. More beasts. Can't you smell them? So many this night. So many left to kill. With this, he silently turns and departs. Remove Father Gascoigne from the map. All right. When a hunter ends a move on the Great Bridge after collecting at least two insight, reveal card three. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Cause I'm about to collect one. So, oh, be all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. I love Father Gascoigne. He's so he's so dreamy, so cheery. Like he's never morbid. Like you can always have a good conversation with him. It's a good time. 
All right, gonna discard that to move two. End my turn in the on the occupied house tile. I will discard that lead elixir to re to collect one of these insight tokens. And then when this card has no remaining tokens, reveal card 12. Okay, I can do that. Hey, all right. So, splendid, splendid. This should be right enough to get me through this hunt. Now, as for your reward, don't think I forgot. It's my b-hole. It's just, well, I had to leave my tools escaping one of the beasts out near the old graveyard. I'm sure they're still out there, though. Uh... Probably. Complete this mission by interacting on the graveyard space. Come on! Come on! Oh, wait, I guess, uh... Sorry, I guess I didn't take that. Just remove it. And I'm just like, oh, I didn't even look in the graveyard. Like, I was there, there was a giant... A, a, like a giant... A, a church giant there. Gascoigne just kept killing the... <laughs> he kept stabbing the undead. Uh, all right. Let me go back. I'm just like sulking. I'm here now. All right, there. So let's move that because it's the end of my turn, and I will interact with it and get whatever it is that this person dropped. It's probably not even useful. All right. So there's my third card. Maybe I'll get to super lucky in the uh, the great bridges right there. It's not gonna be. It's never there. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of that to interact, and that will complete that mission. So then I will reveal card 13. So one thing that I've been doing, actually, let me tell you, I have to read this. Out on the hunt, distribute the hunter torch reward and the flame sprayer firearm amongst the hunters. Will do. Okay. The Hunter Torch. All right, hey, that's not useful in any way. All right, that's not true. When a non-boss enemy moves into your space, the enemy stops one space away and suffers one damage. Designed to incinerate beasts and victims touched by the Scourge. Back, away, away! All right, when the hunt is called, even the common townsfolk take to the streets to partake in the slaying of beasts. Of course, without the proper training, techniques, and tools, many often find themselves slaughtered by the creatures they seek. Man, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Okay, so I need to collect two insights, so therefore I need to find Odin, um, the, uh, yeah, the, the Odin, uh, uh, yep, Odin Temple, Odin Chapel, Odin Chapel. So let's just make this a little easier and go right here. Hey, it's Odin Chapel! Yay, me! Lucky me. All right, so I was here, so let's just go one, two, and put a little lan lantern. Just go ahead and light that up. And now, uh, Andy, move on the Odin Chapel tile. Reveal card 14. So. Ooh! Ooh! Eileen the Crow. Oh, a hunter. What a map, damn it. What a mess you've caught up in, and tonight of all nights. <laughs> I am Eileen, a fellow hunter of sorts. You've seen the madness that has gripped those out in the, in the, this night, haven't you? The, they cannot be saved, so that leaves just one option, and the reason why I am here. You still, you seem to still have your wits about you. Why don't you show me just what you can do? Um. Oh, oh, okay. So. Place two insight tokens on this card. When while on the Odin Chapel tile, hunters may discard their held blood echoes. For each one discard, to remove one token. Uh, okay, I can do that. So I just need to go kill some people. And I th think while I'm there, because there's gonna be two monsters that sh that that will respawn after uh after that. So I can probably prep. Yes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to spend that. I'm going to go one, two. While I'm there, that will uh, end my turn. So then uh, no enemies are activating. So then beginning of my turn, let's go ahead and draw three. Then this moves on to the first, which now causes me to reveal card six. Hopefully it's not just kill everyone. 
All right. Insight mission. Innocent bystanders. Uh, the night of the hunt is dangerous for any wandering the streets of Yarnum, for even those free of the beast plague may become a target for not only the ravenous beasts, but also the mobs of townsfolk so eager to partake in the hunt. Okay. So, spawn one hunter mob. Well, first, one's going there. And then, spawn one hunter mob. Well, I need to reveal card seven. I should just keep those near me. But I like their spot. All right. Frenzied Mob. Place one insight token on this card. If three... Okay. When the Hunter Mob would be slain, instead remove one token and heal all wounds for my tokens are returned on uh, those. Replace its basic with Reckless Anger. So let's set that there. All right. Neat. So now the Hunter Mob's basic. Instead of Axe Swing, it has Reckless Anger, which is the same speed, same damage, but it now has Frenzy. Ooh. I don't remember what Frenzy does. Frenzy. Oh, you gain... Oh, that's right. You gain a frenzy. All hunters suffer plus one damage. All right. Gascoigne, come back. Save me. Uh, yeah. So spawn one hunter mob on the central lamp space. It cannot move from this space. Place one survivor token on the central lamp space. Oh, no. Uh, oh, yeah. Here it is. Okay. Uh, on... Oh, interesting. Okay, so on the next the next red spot, if no hunter is on this space, remove this token and discard the mission. Okay, so I need to at least be there. I need to be there to kill it. And then slay this hunter mob, so if I, if I kill it. Alright, so that's also going to put a... Um, oh no, god, he's back! Alright, but that's okay. That is okay. I can... We're both slow... Um, I have no way of dodging unless my, 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 um, oh man, he, we might kill each other at the same time. Oh no, I might have to move away, <laughs> like, unless, unless, I, unless he has ability, which would be super nice. I still have my gun too. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to do a heavy cleave, which lets me draw. Still not, still not a thing. Well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I already drew. Never mind. All right, what's he doing? Ability. It's basic. His reckless swing. If dodge, hunter's attack deals plus one damage. I can't dodge it. So, but it is basic. So, boom, gonna use my hunter's pistol. So I will stagger him actually because that can be staggered. So, uh, yeah, because it says. Uh, automatically stagger that enemy. Hell yeah. Alright, so, I'm gonna be doing three damage to him. And I th think... Oh, man. There are... Th I have two of my dodges in my discard pile. That sucks. So then I have to draw... Draw one. Um, but he could draw his ability. I'm gonna risk it again. Do a heavy... Do a second heavy cleave. Just do that charge. Aim down. And ability, ability. I hate my life. Alright, well... I'm gonna kill him, and he's not gonna kill. Oh wait, but I draw a card. Wow! <laughs> it is not. I miss my. I miss my Ludwig's Holy Blade. That's four damage on me. But I do kill him, so that gives me a blood echo. He's dead, and I still have my three cards. Um, so I am going probably to. Uh, do I want to go to Eileen? Maybe having her as an ally would be nice. Because um, I also have no way of... Oh, I do have a way of healing. If I do my rally strike, I can heal too, which isn't horrible. Oh, I can actually do... Oh, okay, yes. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So first, I'm going to interact. Uh, why was I interacting on the graveyard? No, I was just going there to kill it. Um, so, yeah, I think I actually just need to move. But a consumable would be nice. Um... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and just and just grab grab whatever might be here. Beast blood pellet, clear one attack slot. That's not horrible. Um, that's not horrible at all. And I think I'm gonna end my turn there because I like the two cards in my hand. Oh hey, there's my dodge. How nice. Okay. Uh, actually, these guys would come to me. They're still uh, doing their thing, so they don't really do anything until that next one. So I'll just place an insight token. There, just to remind me. All right. So, mm, 
you guys would be pretty easy to to kill. But I kind of want to. Yeah, I'm gonna transition my weapon. And uh, but man, all right. Because they're gonna they move and then they'd attack me, and I only have two health. Oh. But then I'd have the two blood echoes I need to go to Eileen and see see what she gives me. I bet you if I get her assistance, then she probably shows up later on. That'd be that'd be pretty hot. That that'd be pretty hot. I think. I don't know. I because uh, I can't complete that. I've I have one insight done. All right. Let's see. I had to do those two heavy cleaves on the church giant after I took one massive hit. Um. But if I kill those guys... Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that beast blood pellet. And clear up one of the, the heavy cleaves. Because then what I can do is I can play this basic to move in here to go after these guys. And then I can play another strength basic to go after them. Oh, but that means their one card left is the ability. What's their ability? Slow, before hunters attack, move hunter mob one space away. All hunters in the space it left must dodge or suffer three. Oh, that sucks. Molotov toss. Okay, so hold on. So I would know it would have actually done that. Because um, there's only one, one card left in there. So with that, um, let's go ahead and put those back. Okay. With that being said, it, it would use a Molotov toss, uh, and it would move a space away, which therefore I wouldn't hit it, and I would have been able to dodge it, but that doesn't help me, because then I'd have to move again. Okay, so, that, fine, fine. Let's do this. You know what, I'm just gonna uh, move back into the Odin Chapel. I don't know why. I'm gonna spend one of those to go, oh no, because I wanna get rid of the blood echoes, that's why. That's fine. What? There's nothing really there that I want anyway. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to discard a thing, a, a blood echo to get rid of an insight. And then I'm going to spend one of those to transition my weapon. Yeah, yeah. Let's transition the weapon so I can start healing. And then I will... End my turn. I'm actually going to get rid of that card. Alright, so that's going to move up. This would follow. Go right there. This doesn't move. So this is a pretty decent hand. Um, but I, unfortunately I need to move in there. But I can heal a decent amount. So let's go in here and let's go save this bystander. Yay! So we're actually both ah, cowering in the corner. This guy's right here, and I show up from Odin Chapel to start kicking some ass. All right, so now this won't really happen if I'm if I'm still there, but I can potentially try to kill it. So, um, oh, but I know what he's gonna fucking do. He's gonna do his stupid ass Molotov, um, which will uh, well. Uh, no, because I'm faster than him. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I'm uh, gonna do rally strike. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yep, he's doing his Molotov toss. I'm actually not gonna be able to. I'm. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm faster than him. Okay, so that will be three damage on him. So that's three on him, and then I actually heal three because after that was rally strike. So that's not terrible. Um. And then he is going to move one space back. Throw the Molotov. I cannot dodge it. So I'm going to suffer that three damage that I just gained. So I'm technically not dead. Um, but what sucks about... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I will actually end my turn there. He's not activating. This guy's coming back. He's going to attack, I'm, or I'm going to attack, then he's going to attack. So, 
I get to play that. I get to draw a card, which I so I have to reshuffle that. Okay. So maybe I can dodge it. Maybe I can can dodge it. It's because unfortunately with my hunter pistol I have to discard a card to refresh it. Okay. So he well, let me do my basic slash real quick and draw a card. And just to make sure. Yeah, there are yeah, there's there's three three of each. Okay. That is fine. I should be okay. So, boom, he's doing his special, which is a rifle shot, so I'm still going faster than him. Um Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, so since I'm going faster, uh, I will actually draw, I will deal two damage and slash him and kill him before he gets a chance. Oh, I don't kill him. I don't fucking kill him. Uh, that's right. Uh, this gets removed and they and he heals. Shit. Okay. Uh, he heals fully. All right, so then he's going to come back. A, it's a mob. It's a frenzied mob. So, boom, I'm going to play my basic and actually dodge his his rifle shot slash him and i'm like oh that didn't kill him he's still shooting so that is that so now uh yeah that was that was his his attack so now it's the beginning of my turn okay one two three i think i might be able to do this oh yeah and that basic dodge was cleared so i think i want to just try and outright kill him so four damage i will spend one of these to transition my weapon to flip okay perfect so or do i want to try and heal okay hold on one two i get rid of the stagger uh yeah because i can do rally strike okay so those were actually like there and there so I can rally strike. All right, yeah. Now I'll use the beast blood pellet to clear the rally strike so I can heal. And then I'm gonna do a basic uh, plus one damage attack. Um, and attack him. So he's doing his, uh, his basic. So that is going to be the same speed. Oh shit. Oh no, his basic is reckless anger okay so that's gonna be the same speed so uh it's gonna hit me for two so i i gain a net one and then i gain frenzy which i have not had frenzy yet so yep remove the token when the hunter goes to the dream okay so i dealt three damage to him he dealt two back in this frenzied spot well no i can dodge it i'm totally gonna dodge it yeah I'm, I have a dodge in my hand, so I will actually just gain gain the, the three. Yeah, so I did my rally strike. He did his axe swing. I put my basic dodge in my slash, which then gets cleared. And then now I will do a basic attack on him. All right, and then that is going to be still the, uh, the same speed. So... Uh, we're gonna hit each other for the same. I am taken. I'm still actually taken two damage, two damage and a frenzy. Uh, but I do kill him, which is great. So that's dead, and I gain a blood echo. And yeah, awesome. Kill all those. Kill that frenzy mob, which I reveal card eight. Oh, that took a lot. That took a lot. All right, so I can take this off now. Safety from the hunt. You approach the figure, a, bru a bruised and bloodied man. Oh, thank the heavens. You're a hunter, right? A proper one? Then please help. I'm trying to get someplace safe. Wait out this terrible night. They've all gone mad! Do not remove the survivor token. When a hunter moves out of the space with the survivor token, it may be moved with them. Complete this mission if you end a move on the Odin Tile Chapel. Odin, Cha Odin Chapel Tile with the token. Real card nine. Complete this mission if you end a move with the token after a red occurs. Oh, okay. Um, all right, neat. So, that is, uh, that is that, I believe. Oh, I forgot to draw one of my cards. All right, 
So, let's go ahead and move. And hey, come with me. We're gonna go here. Oh, I have to interact with it. Uh, oh no, end of move, sorry, end of move. So, reveal card nine. I got really lucky with this tile layout. Literally occupied, then graveyard, then Odin Chapel. Hey, safety from the hunt. I'm just, he's just like, please, I'm just trying to get to the chapel. And it's like, oh yeah, it's right over there. Yeah, you just, oh, yeah, you, you can actually see it uh, through all these bodies that I just killed. You can see it. Distribute one consumable and the hand lantern. Oh, cold, do, cold blood dew. Gain one blood echo. That's pretty nice. Which I should actually, oh no, I don't have two. I have that one. And the hand lantern. I like the hand lantern. Yep, you can just teleport to any any lantern. I this place should do, and none too soon, my friend. I've experienced many a hunt, but this one, something ain't right, I tell ya. This one won't end well, not this time. Here, take this with my thanks. Alright. So that gives us a second insight. Um, innocent bystanders. Okay. Got it. So now I need to find the Great Bridge. Um... Yeah, so these are all the innocent, yeah, the, the, the second insight mission. All right, got it. So now I can do that one as well. Okay, well, not right now. Uh, oh, yes, I can. So I can get rid of the blood, um, the, the blood echo, and hunters may, so yeah, for complete this mission, so I will remove the insight token, and now... I can complete this mission when this card has no remaining tokens. Reveal card 15. See, Eileen? I'm useful. What the hell are you about? Actually, she's pretty cool. I really like her garb. Distribute two consumables. Oh, man, I'm just consumable heavy. All right, antidote. Remove one uh, poison and numbing mist. Enemies attack lose all effects. That's pretty fucking sexy. And the messenger's gift, which is literally on the top. Okay. N uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do messenger's gift and yeah take away the hand lantern for now quite impressive perhaps you have what it takes to survive this hunt after all here a gift from the proven hunter good luck out there <laughs> i forgot that just that <laughs> reminds me of uh, there's a a scene in uh uh oh man yakuza there's just you're you're escorting a a freaking just a, a retired fighter and just the the clip that they use for this because like there's they do talk in japanese but not all the time uh there's just, he just goes ha ha and that's all he says and you're like that's uh that's that's really stupid all right well i got nothing else to do i'm not drawing any more cards so uh beginning oh wait uh this guy would activate come in here ah he's in odin chapel I guess he gets removed. And now it is, uh, mm, yep, so that's there, which means another church giant goes there, there, another hunter's mob is there. All right, so uh, now I'm going to draw three. Let's go ahead. All right, so let's see if I can, because now I have enough. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go to the hunter's dream. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving this alone. Uh, so that's gonna advance. I'm coming off. I'm just, I need some healing. So let's go one, two, three. It's gonna refresh everything. Now I have no blood echoes to buy. My frenzy goes away. My hunter pistol comes back. And then I can start on any lantern, which I'll probably just do the central, the central lamp. Um, just because it's, uh, it's central. I mean, not really, not in this case, but yeah, I think I'm just going to go up one, one spot and see, see what Gascoigne is, is doing. I mean, he's probably insane right now. He's, he, he believes everything to be to be a beast or he has or he just had a really bad day and is at home and he just taken out his frustration on on poor innocent civilians so boom i am back okay so yeah hunter's dream advanced did that by upgrades and the next turn respawn okay 
So, yeah. Uh, beginning of my turn. So, yeah. And now, my turn, so I respawn there, and let's go ahead and move. And let's just go one, two, and come on, Great Bridge. It's not, it's, it's not the Great Bridge, um, at all. It is, uh, ooh, yep, it's that, and another Church Giant, and, uh, one of those. Ooh, so yeah, what was it? It was one, two, and yeah, let's just um not do that. I can always do my messenger's gift. Non-boss enemies do not activate after your turn, so I can go in there. Oh, yeah, let's uh let's do that. That sounds fun. So I will actually go one, two. So they he will follow me into here. This will follow me there. Um. And then I will activate. Oh, actually, if you interact, I think if you interact with um, with someone in your spot, I think they get to attack you. Uh, which, yeah, um, they may interact with. For example, oh uh, well. Oh, enemies do not merely stand around. Yeah, attack them. Enemies immediately attack them before the hunter completes the interact. Flip an enemy action card. All right. Well. That might not be worth it, but... Oh, hey! It's the ability! So, uh, the church giant makes no attack. He's just lumbering around. He doesn't even see me. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then my consumable is... Blue Elixir! Hunter, move two! Alright. Alright. That's pretty cool. So now, I am going to use my messenger's gift. Non-boss enemies do not activate after my turn. So I don't get fucking destroyed by those two things. And now it is the beginning of my turn. Okay. Let's see. If I... I have I have two tiles left to try and find it. So, let's see. I have completed all of these. I'm just going to go down. Um, and I'm actually going to use the blue elixir to, to do such a thing. So let's go one, two. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. It is the Great Bridge. Awesome. Okay. So, gonna do that there. Uh, so he would come here and then he would follow me. Leave me alone! Alright. So, let's see. I have... Uh, what does that say? When a hunter ends a move on the Great Bridge after collecting at least two insight, reveal card three. Will do! Corpses litter the bridge, massacred. The wounds uh, upon them evident of a hunter axe. I'm just like, uh. <laughs> These bodies do not bear the signs of the plague, but appear to have been cut down while fleeing. Suddenly, you hear a loud crash. From across the great bridge, a large boulder comes rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Real card four, bridge guards. All right, let me surround the great bridge tile with fog gates. I can do that. One, two. Surround the, uh, spawn one hunter mob and one huntsman minion on the great bridge. Aww. <laughs> Alright, so hunter mob on the great bridge. Um, oh, instead of the usual enemy. Okay. Uh, Alright, so nothing's complete the hunt at the end of the round if no enemies remain on the great bridge. Alright, neat. Oh, actually. Um... So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Hunter's Torch on this guy whenever he was moving in, uh, and he suffers the damage. So he tries to follow me, I'm just like, back, 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 you beasts. Alright, so, I thought I was done with the hunt, hunt, Hunter's minions. So, boom. When, re when this card is revealed and each time ability is flipped by the Huntsman minion, all Hunters on the Great Bridge must dodge one or suffer three. Place one insight on this card. Okay, when a Hunter mob would be slain, instead remove one token and heal all wounds from it. Come on. Alright. I already have two monsters to deal with. A Huntsman minion. Let me just go ahead and grab his, uh, his sheet, I guess. Yep. Alright. I'm just going to leave that over over here. So, that's pretty neat. I think 
All enemies, enemies attack loses all effects. That's not horrible. Okay, so just to double check, Hunter Mob and Huntsman Minion got that. And they spawn on that space. They respawn, complete the hunt at the end of the round. I mean, I might as well just not do anything because I'm not going to be able to kill them. They'll respawn uh, next turn. Who? Okay, complete the hunt at the end of the round if no enemy. Oh, okay. So this will be the end of chapter one once I kill them. So in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm not gonna do anything. I like my hand. I like my cards. So I am actually oh technically a consumable goes there. So that's pretty neat. Yeah. So they are going to activate. Um, so boom, and then boom. And let's see. All right, so we we're gonna have the uh, hunt the, the 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 yep the huntsman minion go first because he's just over here. So it says, yeah, each time oh inability okay. So he doesn't have shoulder charge anymore. He has something else. Uh, he's doing his lumbering swing, which is a slow, which I will dodge. And then the mob is gonna attack, and they're gonna be doing their axe swing, which I will dodge. So there's both my dodges, and then beginning of my turn. Alright. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Because what, what does it say? While the ha um... Okay. They respond to that... Oh, to that space. Okay, so they respond back here. Uh, it doesn't say they, like... Yeah, they respond to that space. So they come back, and then they are, they're perfectly healed. So I have three turns to try and kill them. Um, wow, I don't know if this is actually possible just because of the, the, the nature of having to kill both of those. I mean, because he has five health, they essentially have eight. And I don't... Oh, well, okay. So let's go ahead. I'm at full health. Let's go ahead and transition over. Um, I'm gonna have to re redraw this. And if I okay, I might be able to actually do it because on kill I can deal two damage to an enemy in one space. So, who? It's gonna be. It's gonna be a, a close one. He doesn't. He doesn't have that. It's only if it's so those guys. So let's go ahead and. Uh, oh yeah, I'm basically. I have no. I don't have to move in there, because I get to. I can attack, and then I can just wait for them to come to me. Um. Yeah. How is this gonna work? So if I don't do anything, I get to draw a full hand. That's gonna. Uh, they're gonna move in, then I can attack them, and then they'll attack me, and it's gonna be essentially the same. But I could potentially kill them and then have them attack. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be taking a hit somewhere, so I think I might as well just use that to move in here to fight these guys. Yay! On this great bridge, and. Um, let me use this, actually. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna do Heavy Cleave. Draw a card. Alright. And, yeah, so I'm gonna deal Heavy Cleave. I'm gonna attack the minion. He's doing a basic. That wouldn't be horrible. His basic attack is 3 damage, but it's slow. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just shoot him. And let's <laughs> stagger him. And then, come on, give me the visceral attack. <laughs> So that's going to be three damage on him. Since I drew a card, I could potentially kill him due to... Okay, that might be worth it. Yeah, so I'm going to do an arc swing, a basic arc swing. He is going to be doing... Ooh-wee! All right. Uh, what, is, what is that now? Okay. Well, I'm definitely not able to dodge. I have no way of dodging, so there's three damage... Uh, well, it's actually... Oh, no, it's a slow. It's a it's a slow. Um, 
at slow. Okay, cool. So my arc swing is actually uh, medium, so that will deal two damage to him. Since he has five health, he is now dead. Actually, I deal three damage because I did the basic. So he's dead. That's pretty great. Let's go ahead and put him, I guess, back in storage because I don't think... I guess he, he might come back. But on kill, I will deal two damage to one... Uh, to one enemy, to an enemy within one space. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, actually, I'm gonna use the antidote because that says draw a card and then remove poison. That's really good. I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do heavy cleave on him. Um, so that will deal three damage. He is doing his basic. Uh, and their basic is, unfortunately, uh, it's a regular axe swing, but it is faster. And so I will take two damage. Uh, I have no way of, of ignoring that. That's fine. Um, but I will deal three damage to him, which is pretty, pretty cool. So it doesn't go over. That's just going to remove the insight. All right, I might be able to do this, actually. So then... If I don't get ganked by that, I am going to transition my weapon. All right. I think, ooh, well, um, I could get lucky and it's, ah, is it? No, it's not worth it. No, uh, well, mm, I have no way of clearing slots. So actually, yes, that's what I'm going to do. So now... He's going to activate, and he's definitely attacking. Um, okay. So he is going to move one space away. And... Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to use Numbing Mist. Uh, on attack, enemies attack loses all effect. So, yeah, that's, that's an attack. Um, at slow. So, yeah, I guess he just does nothing. On and on attack, enemies attack loses all its effects. Oh, that's when I attack. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. So that is going there, and then he throws a Molotov at me, and I suffer three damage. All right, my turn. One. I can. Okay, rally strike. I can heal. Okay. Yes, this this is, seems to be a build, at least for me, where card draw is going to be good. Because I don't have a lot of, like, going fast, having faster attacks, and card draw. I just need to kill that one guy. Do I risk it? Do I risk seeing what that consumable is before, before running in there? Because it could be a blood echo. I, I could, not a blood echo, it could be a blood vial. Let's see what my hand is. Okay, not horrible. Not horrible at all. So, I'm gonna. Sp no. No, it's not worth it. Uh, so, I'm gonna move in there. I'm gonna be doing a basic. Uh, uh, my rally strike. Okay, so, and on attack, I will do numbing mist. Um, which. Okay, so that will completely ignore his his Molotov, um, and and then I'm gonna deal three damage, which means I heal three because of Rally Strike, and then three damage on him, and then what I can do, oh, this would, that would be funny. That would be that would be funny if I oh no I've already used the Hunter's Torch. Never mind. All right, yep, I got to, then I'm going to do my slash, and I'm going to attack him. He has a basic, so it's the same, um, it's the same speed. I'm taking two wounds, so that puts me down to two, and I deal two to him, which kills him, which gives me a blood echo. I'm just going to go ahead and use the cold blood dew to gain another blood echo. He's dead. Whoo! Man, I almost died. That that rally like that rally strike would not I would have died if I had not ever had that rally strike. Alright, so that means if I Ooh, there's a lot of ways to build here. Okay, so complete the hunt at the end of the round if no enemies remain on the Great Bridge tile. Reveal card five. Unsettling suspicions. Distribute two consumables. Oh, okay. Gladly. It would have been a bold hunter's mark, so 
and fire paper. All right. And the Carol Rune Moon reward, which is right here. When you are slain, keep one blood echo. It is immediately used when you go to the dream. Okay. It's not horrible. Look into the sky. You feel the rays of the blood moon casting down upon you, and even you cannot deny the bloodlust. A suspicion continues to grow in your mind, although you wish it didn't. You must locate Gascoigne. No! Gascoigne, you were my boy! All right. So, let's see. So, I actually... This hasn't happened yet. Um... I actually have, at the end, you spend these these blood echoes, so let's see. I definitely like the draw one. I'm definitely going to take rapid, which is a draw one, clear one slot. I'm going to take visceral, which is plus one damage, and stagger. And then leaping may make a move action before using this. Yep, I'm going to take leaping. That's, that's all, that's all, those were all good for me. And I think... So I have a draw one clear this slot, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of a basic draw one. And I kinda, I'm gonna get rid of a basic stagger because I have visceral, which does the same thing. And then I think, how many dodges do I have now? I have one, two, three. Um, one, two, oh, I have four. Four, 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 oh, there's, there's cards down here. Okay, and I think uh, I'll get rid of a basic plus one for leaping. Okay, so, making my way downtown, noticing that Gascoigne is killing a bunch of innocent people. So that was the chapter one for the growing madness. I hope you enjoyed, as I'm sure uh, I, I made some, some rule mistakes, so keep them coming. Um, anything to make uh, this as enjoyable as possible. But let's see what the fuck Gascoigne is about, because... Who knows? Technically, this character doesn't. I do. I know he becomes a beast monster, and he's the first boss that fucks everyone over. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope you're enjoying. Stick around for the rest of the series. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.